hello, hello. Welcome to our workout. Today we are doing a mostly upper body workout with like a sprinkle of cardio. Um, you need a pair of dumbbells. I'm not sure what I'm going to use. We're going to get into it and see. I have fives and tens here. Honestly, I feel like eights would be perfect for this workout, which I say a lot, but I do not have eights. So fives and tens it is for me, something in that kind of medium family range. And we are going to get started with an arm focused workout. So let's start with some ski steps. So find some space and we're just gonna take a little step side to side, arms go up. As we step, they come down. As we land, just kind of getting the shoulders going, getting the heart rate up, a little bit of the legs going because we do have some cardio today that's more full body. In three, two, one, give me some arm circles, big circles back, loosen up those shoulders. Lots of shoulder stuff today, chest up, biceps, triceps, the whole thing. We'll do a few more here. And then give me some open and hugs, alternate which arm hugs on top, stretch at your chest and your back. Squeeze in a few more just like this. And then give me two pulses overhead, one pulse down, really try to pull those arms back. Couple more. And then into side bends and twists. So give me a side bend each way. Oh, that feels good. Stretch out those obliques. Wake up the back. Keep going through that combo. 10 more seconds. Then we'll go into some squats. In five, three, two, one. Squats down and up. Five more seconds, then we're gonna do curtsy lunge into knee drives and go for it. Cross it back, you can touch the floor or just stay tall, whatever's comfy for you. Bending both knees, hips facing forward, stretching out the glutes, waking up the hips. Five more seconds. In three, two, one, inchworm push-ups. We're gonna to touch our toes. Walk forward to your plank. If you push up on your toes or your knees and then walk back in, do it again. Nice hamstring stretch. Waking up the abs, the chest, the back. I'm just gonna stay down here because in three, two, one, plank, deep lunge, twisting reach towards that front leg. Back to your plank over to the other side for the same thing. Nice and slow, big step forward. That front shin can be straight up and down. Push the hips towards the floor. Get that stretch in the low body and the back. In three, two, one, wrist stretches. So come onto your hands and your knees. We're gonna lean forward. I have the camera angle high because we're standing for this workout. So hopefully you can hear my description. Fingertips face back and we lean back. So just keep switching the fingertips forward. We lean forward, kind of put that weight onto your hands, test out those wrists. Then the fingertips come back and you lean back, getting a nice wrist stretch. Five more seconds, then we'll do cat to cow. In three, two, one. So fingertips forward, arch the back, look at the ceiling, then round the back, look at the legs. Nice and slow. Waking up the back and the core. In three, two, one, child's pose to cobra. So sit back, take a nice deep breath, and then pull through, drop the hips, drop the shoulders, look up the ceiling, back and forth again. Five more seconds, then we'll finish with our three pulse hamstring stretch in three, two, one, push all the way back to a crouch. Three little pulses, straighten the legs, stay as close to the floor as you can. If you can squeeze in a couple more of those. And from this one, you can gently roll up and shake it out. All right. Well, these pants do not want to stay over my belly and I cannot blame them because they're pre-pregnancy pants. And I'm seven months pregnant, so get your life together. 
daily. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. I am going to give you three upper body moves. Not in advance, we're gonna do one at a time. We get to rest after each one. They're gonna be 30 seconds on. We get like about 20 seconds rest in between moves to learn what the next move is. Once we get through all three moves, we have three cardio moves, 30 seconds each move. We are going to do those cardio moves back to back to back. So we will have a big rest in the first round where I show you what all three cardio moves are so that you can just bang them out back to back, no rest. But then in the next round, we shorten the rest. So we get 15 seconds between the upper body moves. And we also only get 15 seconds before the cardio moves because now you know what they are. You don't need me to explain all three of them. We'll do it the exact same way a third time. And then we'll go through one more round. So a fourth round where it's just the upper body stuff, no cardio. Okay, so four rounds with the same three upper body moves and the same three cardio moves. Then we rest. We do that whole cycle, that whole system again, but with new moves. So three new upper body moves and three new cardio moves, four rounds of those. That's it. That's our whole workout. So first move is going to be a palms up, chest focused forward raise. So our forward raise is usually right here. Instead, it's going to be like this. So like a little gentle bend, like you're kind of holding something up and you're going to squeeze your chest to do that lift. Keep the body really still, everything just chilling. I think I'm going to give myself permission to use the fives. If you push yourself, I'm pushing myself. Let's go for it. So we're here for 30 seconds. Shoulders are down and back. We're just lifting up to shoulder height and back down. We're keeping the core really strong so that that body isn't like leaning or swaying or arching away from those weights. And remember like this is a very shoulder heavy move a forward raise, but because of the way we're holding our palms and have the bend in our elbows, we're getting like a little bit of chest work as well. Five seconds, three, two, one and rest. Next up, we're going to do palms up alternating cross body raise. So the same sort of position, but this time we're going to alternate one to the opposite shoulder side and then the next. Here we go. In five, three, two, one, and go for it. If I keep looking to my right, it's because there's like a giant window there and we live across while we're moving. But right now we live um, across from this beautiful city park and they have workers right now doing all like the whippersnippering and the stuff. So there's just like a bunch of men like 30 feet from my window. <laughs> Three, two, one and rest. Next up we're gonna do palm spacing in, forward raise. We're gonna open it to the side then drop it back down. So forward raise, open to the side and down. Palms in, thumbs up towards the sky. And just to clarify, these men are like 70 or 80 years old. Like every time they're here, I think they come like once a month to do this. Like they cut the grass more often, but all like the trimming and extra stuff, they do like, I don't know, monthly or something. And every time I see them, I'm like, someone tell these men that they can retire. These poor men out here doing this manual labor, doing this whipper snippering, trimming branches, doing like crazy ditch lawn mowing like these crazy lawn mowers that can go on the sides on the ditch and they're like 80 year old men and that's what they look like maybe it just ages you maybe they're like all 40 years old but it's just a career rest that ages you all right cardio moves so first move is going to be speed skater steps so if you're comfy with jumping you're going to jump from one foot to the next tap the floor all the way down if you want to take it low impact you're going to step it and it's almost like a mini curtsy lunge combined with the skater jump okay that's what i want you to think of um low impact we're going to step it and if you're with me you're like not going to the floor you're going to the knee um second move five pulse squat jumps five pulses at the bottom jump leave the floor if you don't want to jump go to your toes last move three high knees with a hold so one two three hold two three one two three hold step it for low impact here we go three two one speed skater steps so jump it Leg to leg if you can, touch the floor with the same hand as the back leg if you can. If you're with me, we're stepping and you can still touch the floor and step. You're gonna do a bigger bend in your knees, a bigger hinge over. If you're also very, very pregnant or early postpartum, then you're gonna stay up a little higher. You're gonna touch your knee or your shin instead of the floor. 
in five seconds, five pulse squat jumps. Three, two, one. Pulse, two, three, four, five. Jump or toes. Pulse, two, three, four, five. Jump or toes. Pulse, two, three, four, five. Keep going, you're halfway there. 15 down, 15 to go. I always have to count it or I lose it. <laughs> I just keep pulsing for who knows how long. In three, two, one, three high knees, high knee, high knee, hold, hold, hold. Jog it if you can, march it with me for low impact. We're looking for that control, that balance on that hold, that power, that speed on the high knees. Get those knees up nice and high. Use that core, five more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. So now we're repeating that exact same thing, those three cardio moves. It was another elderly man. <laughs> and <laughs> the uh, um, three cardio moves, <laughs> can't even think straight, but with only 15 seconds rest between everything. So last time we had 20 seconds between each upper body move and we had 45 seconds before the cardio moves. No longer. Chest focused, forward raise, palms up. In three, two, one, let's go for it. So this is a great time to check in with yourself and see how those weights feel. Do you need something a little bit heavier? Was it easy to get through those three moves? Are you feeling the shoulders? Are you feeling the chest? If not, maybe we gotta up that weight. If we're able to get through the interval and you're thinking like, I could have done like five more reps, that means we need a heavier weight. Seven seconds. If you're struggling to get through it and you're finding you're taking like a good like three or five seconds at the bottom just to get back up there, you're having to swing, rest. Then we need a lighter weight. 10 more seconds, then our palms up, cross body raise in five, three, two, one. Palms up, cross body raise. Shoulders stay down and back, core stays tight, body's totally still. We're just letting the arms do their thing. Gentle bend in those elbows, crossing the body. We're more than halfway through it. We've got 12 more seconds. Right about now where we have like seven seconds left is where things should really start to get dicey. In three, two, one, and rest. Next up, our palms in, forward raise, opening to the side and down. We still have 10 seconds, so just roll those shoulders back and down, take a breath. In five, three, two, one. Palms in, open it up and down. Breathing through it. Feeling those shoulders like crazy. A little bit of that upper back as we open to the side. Good news is we're way more than halfway through it. We only have nine more seconds to go. Five more seconds, three, two, one, and rest into our three back-to-back -back cardio moves, skater steps, five pulse squat jumps, three high knees with a three second hold. Here we go, speed skater steps in five, three, two, one, jump it if you can, all the way to the floor. If that's comfy, cover some distance, big leaps, Go within your speed, your range of motion. This is your workout, your body, your rules. You know what's safe and what's challenging for you. 10 seconds, find your limits and let's go right to the edge of those limits. In five seconds, five pulse squat jumps. Three, two, one, let's do it. We have pulse, two, three, four, five, jump or toes. Pulse, two, three, four, Five, jump or toes. Pulse, two, three, four, five, jump or toes. Halfway there, come on. 12 seconds, little pulses. Seven seconds, then our three high knees with our three second hold. In three, two, one. Three high knees with a three second hold. Let's go. Get those knees up there, power up. Gentle landing, 
want to keep it soft on the landing. We want to get control once we do that third rep. And it should naturally switch sides. 10 more seconds. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. So now we're going to repeat it just like that. This is the last round that we have to do with the cardio section. So use this time to get sweaty, get that heart rate pumping. Five seconds, then forward, raise, palms up. Three, two, one, let's go. Palms up. Lifting with our muscles, no momentum, so no swing. And you wanna watch that the body is not like leaning away from that weight. We really wanna lift. Wow, I don't know if you can tell on screen, but our pictures are so crooked right now. Three, two, one, and rest. Next up, palms up, cross body raise. Um, Cohen loves standing on the couch and like pointing out who's in the pictures and stuff. Um, the pictures, of course, are of Sully and him and his mom and dad. <laughs> and let's go for it. So he's always pointing the picture of Sully and it like knocks it, makes it very crooked. So hopefully no one has like OCD and is driven nuts by looking at this screen right now with our crooked Sully painting or picture. So 10 seconds. In seven. In five, in three, two, one, and rest. Forward raise, palms in, opening to the side in 10 seconds. Also, if I sound like out of it, this workout, it's because um, we're back to not sleeping in our house. Three, two, one, forward raise, open and down. Um, Cohen was like such a bad sleeper when he was young. And then we like did it, I don't know what you call it, a gentle sleep train at like three and a half, four months. And he became like a pretty good sleeper, but he still, he was like exclusively breastfed, like literally didn't take a bottle. Um, so he ate those babies, I guess, tend to eat a lot, wake up through the night more, three, two, one, and rest into our cardio section. But the past like four-ish months, he slept through the night and I got way too comfortable and used to that. Um, now that he like doesn't breastfeed anymore and like he just like is a sleeping king and speed skater steps and the past week he's just like no I don't sleep anymore now I'm back to newborn life and he just wakes up crying so many times through the night for so long it is not cool bro not cool and like it doesn't even help like you go in you rock him you see if he needs a Tylenol like what's happening nothing's happening nothing like helps like he's happy when you're in there five pulse squat jumps but the second you leave he loses it again so it's just like a whole night on repeat of us just like going in and if you've like sleep trained your child then you know you're like not supposed to do that but like I find it so hard because I got so used to like, he never cries, like why would he cry? So I just talked to a sleep expert today um, and it was not what I wanted to hear. It was like basically he's a toddler and now he's like really testing his boundaries. Three high knees and hold. And so every time that I go in, it's reinforcing like, if I cry for long enough, hard enough, my mom's coming and she's gonna wrap me in a blanket and she's gonna rock me. <laughs> she's going to help me fall back to sleep. But anyway, so that's what's been happening in our house for the past like week. And he's also picking up on the fact and rest. Repeating with no cardio, just the arms. Um, that I totally like, he's only 14 and a half months. And like he doesn't, he says some words, but like he doesn't like talk. He's not like totally verbal. So I thought, he doesn't understand like and he's never lived through like a pregnancy a baby like moving like he doesn't understand all these things but apparently kids pick up on energy which makes sense three two one and so sleep expert thinks that he's picking up on the stress in our house of like me being so pregnant 
while we're trying to move and we're like switching houses and all that stress is making him wake up a whole bunch. So anyway, I don't know, it could be all like a crock of poo and no one knows what they're talking about and the like, kids just like eventually sleep and all the things we do to help, like that we think are helping, maybe aren't even helping and rest. But we'll see, because like, I'd like to sleep again. It would be nice. Five seconds, and now like anyone who has babies who wake up, I know a lot of you guys do, cross body raise. Once, like when you, when it's like this, even when you're sleeping, you're not like really sleeping because you're like anticipating the next like cry alarm clock that's gonna go off. You're like, okay, how long is he he's asleep now? How long is he gonna wake up? And so all your sleep, and like even when he isn't crying, sometimes now I hear phantom cry. Anyway, I'm letting my crazy show too much. Three, two, one, and rest. Forward raise, opening up into the side. 10 seconds. <clears throat> Here we go. In five, three, two, one. Forward raise, open to the side, and down. How those shoulders doing? Feeling good? Getting that upper back work in, keeping that body nice and still. Halfway there, 15 down, 15 to go. In 10 seconds, you get to rest and we get brand new moves. In seven, in five, in three, two, one, and rest. All right, so these upper body moves are more like combo moves. We're gonna be doing like a move or a variation of it. Anyways, you'll see what happens. But so they're a little bit longer. So it's 40 second intervals instead of 30. Same uh, rules apply. We still get that 20 seconds of rest after each one in that first round. We still get that big 45 chunk of rest while we learn the three cardio moves and then things get shorter from there. I'm going to use my tens for this one because these are a little bit heavier moves. We're gonna do one bicep curl and then alternate one right, one left. So one curl with both arms, one with one arm, one with the other arm. Okay, take a breath, five seconds, in three, two, one, let's go for it. So one bicep curl, and then with both arms, and then one with each arm individually. And the idea is that if you wanted to, if your weights are feeling a little bit lighter, maybe you don't have a heavier option, you can boom, boom, like pump out that single arm one. If they're heavier, and maybe it's a little bit slower, those elbows nice and tight to your sides. 15 more seconds, we're way more than halfway through it. Remember it's a 40 second interval. In 10, in eight, in five, three, two, one, and rest. Next up, we're gonna do one tricep kickback. I am gonna do fives for this. One kickback and then one right, one left. So same sort of idea with the two arms and then one of each in five, three, two, one. So both arms and then one right, one left, then back to both. And same thing here, if they're nice and light, you can kind of push that pace a little bit. If they're a little bit heavier, you want to slow it down. Either way, make sure you're controlling the dumbbells. You're moving them, they're not moving you. Halfway there, 20 seconds down, 20 to go. Squeeze those triceps to get the lift, keep the elbows nice and high. 12 seconds, almost there. In seven, in five, in three, two, one, and rest. And you go back to my tens for the next one. One bent over row with both arms and then one each arm. So same sort of rep scheme, now with bent over rows, gentle bend in the knees, nice little hinge, flat back, head in line with the spine, palms face in, big pull up beside your chest, elbows tight. Ready? Three, two, one. Both arms, one of each. Both arms, one of each. You kind of can notice you get a little more height with just doing the single arm. Either way, on both versions, you want to squeeze those shoulder blades together. You want to feel that back working. You want to protect that low back by 
by holding onto our core, making sure our back's nice and flat, heads in line with the spine. 10 more seconds to go. In five, three, two, one, and rest. All right, three cardio moves. First move is a right side, left side, so 15 seconds each side. We're doing knee drives. So you might be able to move over like a little bit more and drive up more. I'm gonna obviously have to be a little more upright and a little shorter with that range of motion for my belly, but drive it up, tap it back. We'll switch sides halfway. Second move is going to be a squat, alternating knee drive twist. So one squat, drive that knee, twist across with the elbow. Last move, high knee uh, foot taps. So you're gonna jog, if you're good with high impact, try to tap the inside of that foot, low impact, step it for the same thing. Here we go. Knee drives, 15 seconds, one side, in three, two, one. So see if you can make the movement a little bit bigger. Eight seconds, then we'll go right into the other side. Five, three, two, one, switch sides, drive it up, have it back nice and quick, lots of power. Seven seconds, then right into our squat with our alternating knee drive twist. Three, two, one, squat, drive that knee and twist. Now, you're feeling good and you're good with like a little higher impact. Boom, boom, increase that pace. Feel like we have to like start all workouts because I know it's very easy like I would do it too if I'm following someone along just to kind of like keep pace with them but I'm seven months pregnant guys you're way faster than me you have a way bigger range of motion than me you can do high impact so go for it tiny foot taps I'm just here to demo tell you what to do encourage you tell you stupid stories about old men trim in the park over there my baby not sleeping, <laughs> 15 seconds down, 15 to go. I make up the workouts, I do them as best I can, and I want you to do them as best you can too. Five, three, two, one, rest. Repeating, shorter rest. Didn't bring my water, so sad. Filled it up, left it in the kitchen. Classic, one bicep curl, Alternating curl right and left. We still have 18 seconds. So catch your breath. In 10 seconds, we're ready to go. I'm gonna show you what it would look like if I went lighter. I'll start with my hands and then I'll show you. Three, two, one. So one curl, then one each arm, all the way up, and all the way down. So keep going. Say I didn't have these tens, my only choice was to do fives. Then what I would do is just increase the pace and almost turn it into like a little bit of a cardio move on that alternating. And that way I can squeeze in more reps because it's a lighter weight. Obviously, if you're using tens, maybe you squeeze in like 15 reps. If you're doing fives, maybe you do 20. Three, two, one rest. Next up, we're doing our tricep kickbacks. One kickback and one alternating each side. Still 10 seconds. Here we go. In five, three, two, one, armpit straight back, and one of each. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze to get that lift. Really feeling the triceps, getting the elbows nice and high. Breathing through it, halfway there, 20 seconds down, 20 to go. Keep that pace up all the way until the end. 14 seconds, then you can rest again. In 10, in seven, in five, three, two, one, and rest. Next up our bent over row, both arms, then one of each. Still have 10 seconds. In five, three, two, one. One, one of each. One of both, one of each. How's that back doing? 
should be putting in some serious work. Big pulls, see if you can get those dumbbells up beside your chest. You're already halfway there, 20 seconds down, 20 to go, I'm sweaty. I hope you're sweaty too. Getting closer and closer, you got 12 seconds. In seven, in five, in three, two, one, and rest into our cardio section. First our knee drives, then our squat, alternating twists, and then our high knee foot taps. We still have seven seconds. Whatever side you want to start with on your knee drives. In three, two, one, drive it up. 10 seconds. These are quick, so we got to do both legs. In five seconds, we switch to the other side. Three, two, one, switch it right into the other side. 15 seconds here, 10 seconds now. In seven seconds, squat alternating knee drive twist. Five, three, two, one, let's go. Squat, drive it and twist. Squat, drive it and twist. So we can feel the legs, we can feel the obliques. If you've got that hustle on, that little almost hop, that pushing of the pace, then you're getting that cardio element in with this move. More than halfway there, 12 seconds. One more move in eight seconds. High knee foot taps. In five, three, two, one, let's go. Drive it up. If you can't quite make contact with that foot, that's okay. Come as close as you can or just jog it out. You're good with high impact. You're jogging, you're jumping foot to foot. Low impact, you're with me. More than halfway there. 12 seconds, 10 seconds. Come on, keep hustling. Seven, five, three, two, one, rest. Catch your breath, grab a little sip of water. We gotta do it again, just like that. In 10 seconds, one bicep curl, both arms, one alternating. Here we go, grab your weights in five, three, two, one. Both arms, one of each. Thirty seconds. Feeling those biceps, building that strength. We got this. We're already halfway there. Twenty seconds down. Twenty to go. Second last time that we have to do this move. We want to get everything we can out of them. Ooh, it's getting to be a struggle, but we're pushing through. Eight seconds. Five seconds. And three. Two, one, and rest. Next up, tricep kickbacks. One with both arms, one each arm. Eight seconds. Here we go. Grab those weights in five, three, two, one. Armpit straight back, then one of each. You have been through 27 minutes of this circuit already. You've got less than six minutes to go. We're getting there. Once we finish this, we just stretch, that's it. Work those triceps while we can. 20 seconds down, 20 left. Come on, big push, big strength. In 10 seconds, it's rest time. In five, three, two, one, and rest. One more strength move before that cardio section and it is our bent over rows. Both arms and one of each. Ooh, nice little sweat happening. Nice little glow. Here we go. In three, two, one. Bent over row, then a big pull each arm. Same thing applies here. So I'll show you if I had only my lighter weights. I'm gonna be pushing that pace, I'm gonna be squeezing in those reps. I'm not gonna be cheapening myself on that range of motion. I might even be able to go a little bit higher because it's lighter and I can do a nice big pull. 10 more seconds. Five more seconds. 
three, two, one, and rest into our knee drives. 10 seconds, whatever leg you wanna start with in five, three, two, one, let's go for it. Drive it up. How many can you squeeze in? Five more seconds, then we switch legs. Three, two, one, switch legs. Let that breath out as that knee drives up. Believe it or not, we're working that core. Five seconds in our squat, knee drive twists. Three, two, one, let's go. Squat, drive it and twist. Let's go, let's go. Same thing here. Let that breath out as you twist. We're working that core. 15 seconds down, 15 to go. One more move before our rest. In 10 seconds, we gotta do our high knee foot taps. In five, three, two, one, let's go. Drive it up. Great for the hips, great for the stamina, that endurance, that heart health, and we're flying. 15 seconds down, 15 to go. We are burning some calories. In 10 seconds, rest time, baby. In seven, in five, three, two, one, rest. 30 seconds, get a nice long rest. And this is our last round coming up where we just do the strength element. So no more cardio, done with that cardio. You did it, you crushed it. Feel good about it, goodbye to that cardio. 12 seconds, last set of bicep curls. We're gonna finish strong. I thought about switching to those fives. No, I'm sticking with those tens. Let's do it. We got three, two, one. Let's get strong. One of with both, one of each. Push that pace. Give me as many reps as you can. This is the last time that we are doing this move. And we are going really fast because it's already been 20 seconds. 20 seconds down, 20 to go. We've got a rest. Good, nice 15 second rest coming up in 15 seconds. In 10, ooh, got a little sweat drip coming down my back. Love to see it. Five seconds. In three, two, one, and rest. One kick back with both hands. One alternating, but you still have 10 seconds of rest. Less than two minutes in your workout. Let's go, let's go. In three, two, one. I think the old men are done. I can focus now. <laughs> I don't think anyone even saw me. Last time I was filming this another time when they were there. I just didn't bring it up. I don't feel like we're closer. You know, we can talk about these things. <laughs> I felt like they were like, looking right at me. This girl just flailing around in her living room. Is she okay? But, uh, this time, I don't think they noticed me, which is funny because there's a lot more of me to notice at this point in the pregnancy. Eight seconds, then we get to rest. In five, three, two, one, rest. Last move, energy. We've got our bent over rows. 10 seconds, we're ready. Both arms, then one of each. Here we go in five, three, two, one. Give me a big pull. How's that feel? You worked for 33 minutes, got 30 seconds left on the clock. That's it. A little back work. One of our stronger muscles, one of our bigger muscles. So we can really go for it here at the end. We're already more than halfway through it, 18 seconds. Now just 12 seconds. What are you gonna do with the last 10? Put in that work. No quitting early. Five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Awesome job. Shake it out. Let's stretch. Let's take our head over to one side, give ourselves a nice gentle pull. Feel that amazing stretch in your neck, your shoulder, your trap. 
Stay there for three, two, one. Switch it, same thing, other side. Nice gentle pull, shoulders down away from the ear to get that length. In three, two, one. Grab one arm across your body, give it a big hug, stretch out that shoulder. They worked that first circuit with those raises. Whew, stretch them out. You got seven seconds, then we'll do the other side. Big hug. Three, two, one. Open it up, hug on the other side, same thing. Stay there for 10 seconds. You give it a nice big pull, keep that shoulder down away from the ear. You can walk around if that heart rate's still coming down from all those cardio sections. In three, two, one. Give me a tricep stretch, elbow behind the head. Nice gentle pull. Remember all those kickbacks? How could we forget it just happened like one minute ago? Five seconds, then we'll do the other side. In three, two, one, and go for it. Nice pull. Giving both sides some attention. Stay there for another deep breath, and then in five seconds, we'll do a side bend. In three, two, one. One nice big side bend. Believe it or not, we worked a lot of core today with those twists, with those knee drives. Stretch it out. And then we're going to take this hand and bring it all the way over to the opposite foot. Try to push your hip away from it so you get that stretch like in the hammy, but also like from the shoulder to the butt of that working side. And come back up. And we'll do the same thing. So just the side bend to start. Big reach over, stretching that oblique out. Side bends are awesome for low back pain as well. Three, two, one, and then take it all the way over to that opposite foot and then push the butt, push the hips over to the other side. You kind of like fill up that back, rounding it out a little bit. And then come on the back up. Quad stretch, so balance if you want, or grab onto a wall if you'd like, but bring that foot up to your butt. Hold on with one hand, two hands, whatever feels good. You can keep the legs side by side or like gently pull it back away from the supporting leg to feel it a little more intensely. A lot of squats, even though this was like an upper body and cardio focused, a couple of those cardio moves had squats, switch sides, or like the speed skaters where we do get some quad and some glute work in there too. So stretch it out. Stay there for a nice deep breath. And then in five seconds, we'll do hip stretch. Three, two, one. Let's cross that leg over. Sit down. You can hold onto a wall or you can pull that foot up, whatever works. So I'm pulling the foot up and pushing the knee away so I can feel the hip of the crossed over leg. All those um, high knee toe taps. So hip heavy. Switch sides. And that supporting leg, kind of like we're sitting in a little mini chair. Push that knee away. In three, two, one. Last thing, we're just gonna take a big breath up and let it go. We are done. Thank you so much for sweating with me. I'll see you in the next one.